the, this is soft fine charcoal and I, it's in everything. I like, I like the softness of the color and I like the color black. It's a, it's a warm black. Warmth and softness are crucial elements for every color artist Donna Howell Sickles uses. They lend just the right mood for her world famous portraits of cowgirls. These images of happy, confident, strong women are what first drew us to Donna 20 years ago. This posse of cavorting cowgirls trotted into Donna's mind over 20 years ago when she ran across an old postcard depicting a real western cowgirl of the 1920s. Complete with costume and trick horse, this cowgirl triggered an image in Donna's mind and her life has never been the same. I use her for the strength and the humor that, that all women are capable of. We're not all there all the time, but it's something we all aspire to. It's, it's kind of just a joyous embrace for the whole act of living. Since then, she's continued to create in her signature style. At any given time, you'll find half a dozen originals underway in her studio and gallery in St. Joe, Texas. It's an artist's dream, spacious, comfortable, and flooded with natural light. But her biggest project lies just beyond those precious windows where the entire town square has become a canvas. I think it's one building at a time. There was a great community spirit here, but not a lot was going on. And it reached a point where it really somebody needed to say, hey, I believe in our future. It's just like a little treasure of a town sitting here that really hadn't changed much. Uh, probably the 50s was the last time something was really done to anything on the square. After decades of neglect to the red brick decorative tin and ceiling high windows, Downtown St. Joe is getting a facelift. Donna and her husband John have been restoring the square's original frontier architecture that was ravaged by time. This plaza square area was laid out in the late 1800s and it's still pretty much the same. This place had been sell for sale forever and nobody wanted it. They were too big and they weren't air conditioned. It had nothing been done to them. They were just old buildings. And they took the entire front off of that building um, and laid the pieces out inside on the second floor and then put it all back together again like a giant jigsaw puzzle. So far, John and Donna have restored their apartment created a studio space, and opened an art gallery spanning multiple storefronts. And it all started when they moved up here and fell in love with the area. This was the most urban existence we had ever had. You could walk to the grocery store, you could walk to the post office, and we'd never lived in a town before. We loved it. And then, you know, you like a place and you, you're committed to the place, then you invest your time and your energy And what can I do to make it better? What can I do to help? Maybe I'm just crazy, but it's just, you get the satisfaction, you put it back, and this will be as good as it was new. It kind of suffered the same kind of demise that many small towns in, in our country suffered. But this one, I think, is going to get a second chance. Other folks nearby share the same sentiment. Donna, John, and their friends and neighbors have all joined forces to improve their newly adopted hometown. They've taken turns at city government, opened businesses, and worked to promote tourism. And they've done it all together, rebuilding St. Joe on a solid foundation of community. It's a great adventure. How often do you really get to live in a place where what you do matters? It's a great privilege not to be anonymous.